Yeah, welcome to the channel. I think that's what you're supposed to say. I don't like doing this kind of intro thing. We're kind of addressing some carnage from the burnout contest in Daytona where I completely made an ass out of myself. We bent the axles when we were down there and I'm just now finally getting around. Y'all gonna watch and watch me do it. So this is a Ford nine inch rear. Get these axles out if you don't know, it's pretty freaking simple. So I got, a, I got a one inch spacer on here because I back half this thing, half ass back half it. Does that make sense? You gotta take the caliper off, take the rotor off. There's four bolts behind here. You smack the back of the axle with a hammer, pops right out. All right, so I got the rotor and the caliper off. I already got the axle unbolted. All I gotta do now is smack the back of this thing with a hammer. There it is, it's out. That's it, it's that simple. Five minute job. These axles are 30 inch, 20 inch line axles. Just wind about halfway up so you've got a nice good area to cut. You have a narrow rear end, we great for that. Honestly, this, this truck should have at least 31 splines. Or you can go get go big or go home and get a 35 spline carrier with this and throw 35 spline axles in it. So I don't know if you can tell here, but this is how how far up this thing is splined. That's how much we got to cut off of it. I don't know if you can tell in the picture, but the splines are actually twisted on this one. I'm gonna measure this thing as I measure from the back side all the way up to the very top part of the shaft, which just happens to be 24 inches. I'm gonna do the same thing on this. I'm gonna measure it out. I'm gonna cut it the length. All right, so I got the other axle up from the uh, bandsaw over there. Went ahead and uh, threw the axle on the presser bearing. And so always remember when you press in these bearings, the smaller bearings, the, the 28 spine, they have an O-ring on them. You want to put the O-ring in towards your gears are at. So I got the old axle here with the uh, lug studs in it, and I'm about ready to punch these out. So I went ahead and laid the rotor back up on here. And I went ahead and I marked out where the lug pattern is going to land. So that way when I put them, put the studs back in the new axle, I know exactly where to put them. I'm getting these lugs all pressed in here. If you don't have one, I highly recommend you go get one. This little tool right here, you can get it from AutoZone. Pulls the studs in. Give it the old sand with a Dewalt because the Milwaukee's dead, unfortunately. All the studs are pressed in. Now it's just time to put it all back together. This thing should slide right back in. You feel the resistance on it, it means everything is splined up. To bolt it up, like these little pieces come off, and then it's like a seal right here that sandwiches in between a little metal seal. And you just bolt it all back together pretty much. So that's uh, that's pretty much how you do that. That whole swap, you know, swap axle in, swap axle out. Go watch something else because I'm out, I gotta do the other side yet, so watch me blow it up.